Hi, my name's Patrick. And my name is Merrick. And we're going to do a daily shadow work reading today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's get started. For Friday. For Friday. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Already. It's already Friday. Isn't I know. That right? It's so quick. Didn't our favorite singer, Rebecca Black, talk about Friday at one point? Oh, I think she did. She did. I I'm think she, sure did. she did. Okay. Let's do uh, what we've been doing. An obstacle in a path followed by some, uh, maybe a guiding light or a, a deep, deep shadow. So we'll get started here. This is going to be the path and this is going to be the obstacle. Okay, what should we do first, babe? Let's do the obstacle first today. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with. Hatred. Hatred. All right, so here we are, hatred. This is a nemesis card. Yes, it is. What do we know about the nemesis is? What do we know about enemies? We know about, well, what we know about the nemesis is that it's all our self-destructive instincts. Yeah. On, and, on the table. And your enemies are your greatest teachers and your best friends. So yeah. If you have an enemy, consider yourself lucky. Yep. As the rapper Drake said, his his haters are his number one fans. Yes. This particular card, the hatred card, it urges us to confront any deeply seated hatred we might be harboring, be it towards ourselves or others. Uh, and it's upright. So it's embracing a ten intense aversion as a reaction to perceived threats or injustices. This emotion can serve as a powerful motivator for change. So let's consider it in its op obstacle form that uh, hatred is pretty much an obstacle for anything. Yeah. Or it could be a great catalyst for change. Let's peep on this path and see. Yeah. So this is a vagabond. Ooh, desperate. Desperate vagabond. So this, the vagabond, the suit of the vagabond, some people might say that it's like homelessness or tramp. I think in Jungian psychology, it was called the tramp archetype. Mm. Who the hell knows what a tramp is? Well, I know what a tramp is these days. Uh, but back then, a tramp was like a hobo or a drunk or somebody that was homeless. Uh, but the desperate vagabond, this is a really good energy because it invites us to confront our feelings of desperation. Do we feel a lack of control over our lives, causing us to make impulsive decisions or feel hopelessly lost? And this card encourages us to seek help when we need it. Um, so right up here, expressing it's also upright. Yes, expressing a profound desire or need, which can lead to seeking out new experiences or directions. Mm. So, uh, I'm going to talk about this, about how I feel about this, and then Merrick might have something to say. So the desperate vagabond um, and the hatred obstacle, for me, this means there have been times in my life where I have been desperate for a change. Like I didn't like what was going on in my current or past reality, and I didn't like it, but I was desperate for it to change. And I didn't know how. I hated the way things were going. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that, that can be a, an obstacle for change because why do things have to get bad before we change them? Why can't mm -hmm. we just change them? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't we be able to just say, hey, I don't like this? Or why do we have to wait for things to get bad before changing them? Mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts, babe? Yeah, I was also getting, you know, that hatred being the obstacle. Hatred's going to get in the way of anything mm -hmm. you want to achieve. Like having, having intense feelings of resentment mm -hmm. is going to stop you from doing anything. So the pathway, I'm looking at it too, is that um, we need to get desperate for work, like working through these resentments. Like mm -hmm. we need it, like you were saying, you know, why does it have to get so bad? But if it does, here's your reading. It, it doesn't have to get any worse than it is now. And, and, yeah, and like you can you can decide how desperate your max desperation is. I know that I still have some resentments that are really hard to get over. Mm. They're really tough to get over. I don't know why. I'm not consciously resentful of things that have happened in my past or that are happening in my present but they do kind of keep me stuck because it's like, I don't know why they're there. They must be there for a good reason. Mm -hmm. uh, there's more for me to learn about that. The first time I ever heard anybody talking about resentment in an honest way was in a meeting where a girl was saying that she was trying to not let a resentment form. And I'm like, what? It's like she was speaking Japanese. I'm like, how, what do you mean? How do you like resentments are just automatic, aren't they? No, they're not. Behind every resentment is envy. Mm -hmm. So let's get a guiding light. Yes, please. 
guiding light. Erotic. Erotic siren. You know, this siren archetype is a really interesting one. I'd like to talk she about the archetype. <laughs> she does peep up. I'd like to talk about this archetype just for a little bit. Please. Um, it is a, it for me it's like the aquatic mermaid siren you know the the myth of the siren uh that that tempted men yeah. to their death um that's what i think of also yeah so but this in particular this erotic siren card is interesting because it's not just talking about sex no no it's obsession an unbalanced focus on eroticism potentially leading to inappropriate behavior or neglect of emotional in intimacy. That's the boilerplate description of the erotic heart. Taken in the context of what it means now, it, it, it is the guiding light is an obsession. The guiding light is something that you are driven to do. Like I, I think I told mm. you, I think I told mm. you earlier this That's good. Earlier this week, I said, I'm really getting sick of working on myself. Yeah. I know that's not true. No, I know that's, that's your great true. obsession. It's my great obsession. It I is. I want to get through this lifetime working through all this karma so that I don't have to come back and do it again. Yeah, but you'll probably still want to come back. Oh, totally. Like where you, you and I totally. are both, we're going to come Everybody back. is like, oh, yeah. this is my last incarnation. I'm not coming back. And then as soon as they get to the other side, they're like, can we go again? <laughs> 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 so the guy, the guiding light is um if you want something to change make it your obsession hmm. make it an obsession to hmm. change uh when that's it, really good because when i'm obsessed with something i can make stuff happen yeah like i can do a whole Hell website yeah. in a morning yeah it, i've seen it i've seen it, it. i have <laughs> seen that shit it i mean it just it just gets done mm. i don't know how i become obsessed with it mm. uh and particularly the changes that we're making on the shadow work website for this deck it's it's a it's a lot different than what it was i like it yeah i like it it's taken like a very it. cool form. like it okay so let's see what's in the the deep dark shadows about this mm. needs proof now i'm going to tell you this is the most ridiculous shit you will ever hear in your life. You want to hear it? I'm all ears. That when it comes to things that are going to benefit you, you need the proof. You need that proof. People need proof, except when they don't. Can you think of an example? Let me let me say, um, I work with addicts in recovery. And even though I say that anyone who works a particular program, they are almost guaranteed to get sober. Mm -hmm. They are almost, it's like, rarely have we seen a person fail. Rarely. What does rarely mean to you? Rare. Like almost. point zero 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 right. zero 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 one percent If you follow this very simple program to the letter, you will recover. You will. And people reject that outright. They're like, it can't be that simple. It can't be that simple. It is that simple. It is, it is totally that simple. that simple. But it took years of wearing me down to be able to see, oh, all I have to do is this, this, and this. Mm. So when people come to us today and they come to us, they're like, uh, Patrick, Merrick, I really want to change. Tell me what I need to do. And we'll say, okay, all you need to do is this, this, and this. And what do they say? No, no, and no. No, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. So being resistant to what is going to work for you. I understand needing proof. People need proof for all sorts of things. Like people... I can see how this is in the deep dark shadow. Oh, it's in the deep dark shadow. Because because how are how are you going to get from the obstacle to the path and to be guided there if this is still in your deep dark shadow needing proof? Because if you need proof that this hatred is your obstacle, if you need proof that uh, getting hungry, getting desperate for uh, to overcome those resentments. And if you're, if you're, you know, in your guiding light is that obsession you have for working on things, whether it be yourself or whatever it is, if you need proof to do it, that could trip you up. And especially if that's in your deep, dark shadow. There, there are people, and I say this a lot, but there are people who, every time I'm editing these videos, I'm like, there I am saying there are people I know again, but there are people I know <laughs> about that. They will believe the most cockamamie shit. <laughs> they will believe this crazy shit. But yet, when I'm talking about things based in reality, well, where's the proof? Mm. Where's the proof? Mm. Especially, like, what's going on in the world. Like, the Great Awakening. 
all of this really amazing stuff that's coming to the surface. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff exciting that stuff. I know that these people would adore. They would be like, yes. Oh, yeah, like you and I do. Like every time yeah. we get a new piece of information, Ooh. we're like, oh, my God, this is the most exciting. That, we're like that meme of that little kid on the computer. Going, yeah. Yes. It's so this is the most exciting time of life. Then there are people out there that are not going to be they're not going to believe it unless it's on the news. Or if it if it gets broadcast and we're like, it's not ever going to be broadcast. It's not. Uh, it's not because it would cause too many art feelings. But but if you need proof of something in your life, like this is a really difficult thing for me to explain without calling a certain person out. But I'm going to try to explain it in a way. But like there are members of my family who needed to know where I was who I was doing it with, they needed evidence of all this stuff my entire life. What are you going to do with this money? What are you going to do here? Where are you going to go? What's, I need to know what time you're coming home, all this stuff. But when it comes to health, wellness, jabs, economics, anything like that, they're like, oh, I don't need to know. I don't need to know about that. I'm, I'm happily being ignorant. I just, I just don't need to know about that. But they need to know about every other fucking thing. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Am I describing this correctly? Yes. yes. So if you need proof like that, please understand that you are supposed to be a skeptic. Do not just automatically believe everything that you hear. Believe less of what you see. And if you need proof, you're not being skeptical because most of the times when people need proof, they want proof of what they already know mm. and they're, they're not going to get it. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear the board and we're going to do a one card draw. Discover. Discover. So this is, this is a Voyager. So it's, it's interesting. The reading that we did today, it's a Voyager. This is one of my favorite cards because she's got stars on her face and I love it. But this is a Voyager. Discover it. You have to discover it on your own. Nobody can tell it to you. And, oh, my God, I wish that That's people so could true. tell it to you. That is so true. I, I, I wish people oh could tell God. it to me, man. But it's, it's almost like they're under a spell. It is mm. crazy. Mm. It is crazy. Because every time you start to tell somebody the truth of something, they're like, no, no, no. Mind meltdown. Yes. But it's okay. You're going to hear it anyway uh, at some point. So, um Get ready for change. Get ready for change. Yes. You're about to discover a whole new world. I want you. Oh, I don't want Disney. I don't want Disney to sue me. I think Disney's already bankrupt. I think it's yeah. I think it's just yeah. Yeah. It's just playing out. It's gonna play out. You're gonna see exactly how it went down. Have a wonderful day. Absolutely. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Wait, it's the weekend? <laughs>